What's up guys, welcome to another video, and uh, this is another episode of Ballot Boxing, but before we get into that, as I'm speaking right now, BFW Fall to Pieces is rendering in the background, if you can hear my computer like processing stuff, uh, like the fan going around, it's quite loud, uh, but I'm sorry about that, but I've been holding on and opening these packages all day, because I've been filming the last match, and my back's been killed, it's absolutely shredded, uh, I keep knocking the tripod for some reason, but uh, yeah, that's going to be out tomorrow, Sunday, probably about midday UK time, slash, like, probably midday or 6pm, sometime in between there. Going to upload it overnight because it'll take ages, but I have a lot of packages which I got today. And uh, I'll show you what we got. We got one package here from A1 Toys. Um, we've got a very special package here from a uh, certain customizer, And we've got something from eBay. But uh, before we go and crack those up, I'll show you some stuff I got in the mail recently. I uh, just didn't feel like making a video on it. We got the Elite Bow Dials, because I'm actually going to be making a custom Roderick Strong. Uh, Ellis slash Figs underscore 31, check him out. He is making me the head scan um, with the Zack Ryder scan I've sent him. And uh, he's also making me another custom, which I'll keep as a surprise. And I'm just going to do all the parts with my acetone this off. And um, paint this a bit with my new awesome paint set, which I'm yet to use. But yeah, we're going to be making a custom Roderick Strong out of that Bow Dials. Uh, next from Australia... We got the Andrade Cien Almas basic, and I love this. I was going to convert it to an Elite with a Sin Cara, but I like this too much. If I pick up a cheap Sin Cara, then I might do it. But I love this basic, honestly. From Australia, like £15. And I've, since this came, I've actually ordered something from the same seller. A really rare Elite. So that'll probably be in a video next week or the week after. Uh, this arrived in a week as well. Great condition. Uh, loose. But uh, yeah, there's the two figures we got this week uh, after my birthday. Since my birthday, these are all the stuff I've got. And some of the stuff on the way, I believe. Sometimes I lose track of what I've ordered when I order too much. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and open this one first. Uh, try not to show my address. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell what it is. Oh, what? It's leaked everywhere. Oh, for God's sake. Wait. So, yeah, this is a big old bottle of acetone. Uh, I needed some, and it's really leaked. It's leaked on my mat a bit. It's down there, you can tell. But I need to go wash this real quick, so it doesn't leak all over my hands, and it stinks out my room. But, yeah, we've got some acetone, which I'm going to be using on the Roderick Strong Elite. Uh, like, acetone on the back, and future projects. Um, just needed this, because it'll last forever. But, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't order it through the post again, just in case it leaks. Alright, so I'm back from washing the bottle, and it's still quite sticky. I'm glad I, I almost ordered an extra litre. Oh, I just got some on my goddamn phone. Let's Must have been some on my sleeve. Oh, my God. Alright, I almost ordered an litre bottle for, like, an extra pound. I'm glad I didn't imagine getting that through the post. But, uh, yeah, this should last me a while. 500 millilitres of acetone. And, uh, yeah, uh, Figs recommended me at the guy who's making the Roderick Stronghead. Hopefully, uh, we can rely on him and this is some good acetone. If not, uh, we're going to sort him out, alright? But, uh, yeah, so, next package. Uh, we'll keep this one till last because I'm most excited about this one. But uh, let's go for this one from A1 Toys. It's got a good deal. I spotted it online. And uh, I was going to order this from eBay or something, but it was cheaper from A1 Toys. Uh, I haven't really... I can't remember the last time I ordered from them, honestly. Eh. Eh. Oh. These noises are not very appropriate. Oh, rip the ring. But, uh, yeah. The um, jobber himself, Eric Young of Sanity, and I really wanted this elite. Really want to get all of Sanity. Probably will get Nikki Cross in my next ringside order, or if it gets to the UK. But yeah, this looks awesome. Really need Killian doing that because Alexander Wolf, but I thought I'd get everything anyway while it was cheap. Got this for like 24 shit. Almost got to the 65 Roman as well, but I decided to hold off because I'm not really desperate for it. And uh, I won't be able to use it for main year anyway. Um, I mean, my next show, which is Fall to Pieces, because I already filmed that match. And uh, I won't be able to use it for main year, which is a few months away. But uh, yeah, and the Elite 68 is coming out. But yeah, I decided to get Eric Young. Uh, this figure looks really nice. Uh, I've got Rue 7 Aiden out the set, and I don't think I'll, pro I'll probably get Roman eventually. Um, I don't know, but yeah, looks really nice. So, Eric Young, a new addition to the collection, and now uh, let's get into the awesome other package. 
Actually, no, I said that. I said that, but I'm going to actually open this first. Um, yeah, I don't know why I said let's get into the next package. Should probably take some pictures of this. Okay, I forgot to hit record of me opening it, but uh, yeah, this little figure looks awesome. Uh, he has the epic head scan. He's bald at the sides and he has great... Hey, wait, but look. Is it a loose waist? I don't know. It's sort of loose, but not loose. I get lo loose that way, but... Oh, for God's sake, loose waist. Uh, the legs are really skinny. Uh, I like the designs on the knee pads. It's got Saturday on there. Awesome tattoo. Uh, the boot mold is very unique. Um, it comes with this jacket, which is uh, really easy to take on and off. Uh, this little, what do you call these again? Uh, bandana. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Oh, I forgot what you call them. Oh, balaclava, I think that's what you call them. And then it comes with these clone hands for some reason. I guess these are like creepy. The sanity or something. Nah, I don't know. Does he do this in his entrance? I haven't seen them on TV in a while. Actually, they faced Ricochet. But, uh, yeah, they didn't really do much, did they? So, Eric Young, uh, let's go ahead and put on his jacket. And I'll show you what it looks like. With the... You probably saw a review of this like two months ago. But uh, we've only just getting these in the UK. But yeah, Eric Young is there. And, uh... Looking cool, I'll probably fix up that loose waist. Really, I knew it would be loose, man. All these kind of ripped torsos in my face are always loose. Or if it's a figure I really want. But, uh, yeah, Eric Young. Awesome, another addition to the collection. A new addition. And, uh, let's get into the final package. Oh, boy, am I excited for this. I ordered this a few days ago. And, uh, I'll tell you now, it's a custom from the... At, at the NWF on Instagram. And, uh, so I asked him if he had this for sale. And he said, yeah. And, uh, maybe get more from them in the future. But for now, this is what we've got. Let's just go ahead and open it this way. So we I've never really got a figure in a box like this before. But uh, there it is. The bag for protection. Oh, we have the custom right here. It's a figure I already have, but a different attire. Oh boy. We have his Kyle O'Reilly Undisputed Era custom. Oh my god, this is insane. Hand painted and decals, it's a mix he said. Wow. Wow, this looks awesome. Feels like he's gone over it or something in like a special look at that head scan. I'll get my other Kyle Riley out. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so now we have two he wore this attire at uh, the recent takeover, takeover Phoenix. Wow, this looks incredible. Now we have two Kyle Riley's this head look at, the, look at the, Head scan difference. So nice. Wow. This blue attire just really pops. Damn. This is crazy. I love the blue, it just stands out so much. Incredible custom from at the NWF on Instagram. Yeah, it does feel like he's gone over this in like a uh, like a brushed over or something with like a rough texture it's kind of weird but uh, I don't mind um, probably just to make it last longer like this, he said this was a decal like I'll show you because Kyle O'Reilly's tattoo in real life is like faded but Mattel just printed it on I mean I wouldn't mind if he left it but uh, yeah, as you can see he added his own decal where it's like faded more accurate and uh, damn this is insane you won't see this used in the next BFW fall to pieces obviously because I've just got it but uh, yeah this is really awesome Damn, so happy to have this in the collection. Kyle O'Reilly, the god, one of the most underrated, underappreciated talents in NXT. Damn, let's put the shirt on and see what it looks like. Whoa, look at that, look at that epicness. That looks sexy. That looks sexy. But, uh, yeah, Kyle O'Reilly, <laughs> custom elite, incredible. I honestly can't take my eyes off this. So, everything we've got today, we have the Kyle O'Reilly, we have the Eric Young, uh, we have these two that I got the other day, and the Acetone, which you don't want to pick up again. But, uh, wow. Every, the main focus is this, guys. The main bloody focus. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this episode of Ball of Boxing. Be sure to tune in for BFW Fall to Pieces tomorrow. 
and I may have a video uh, customizing, making a custom Roderick Strong out tomorrow, part one, uh, where I'll just do the part swatching, swapping an acetone, and then the second part will add the head scan and paint the designs. But uh, yeah, awesome haul today. This wasn't in it, but uh, wow! Thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.